This guidance is for potential and current students and recent graduates. A major theme of this advice is being deliberate. When you're deliberate, you have a plan. When you have a plan, more often than not, you fell forwards, not backwards. So a little bit about my background. I came to campus in 2001 and I haven't left. I got involved in a research project with a professor in the fall of 2004, decided to get a master's degree, obtained my PhD while wa working part-time at ITRI. And ITRI is a research institute at North Carolina State University that essentially operates as a public consultant, providing guidance and recommendations for clients through applied research. My research includes asset management type projects, looking at horizontal curves, signs, retaining walls, doing economic analysis and civil engineering studies, working on books and manuals, teaching in and managing education and training programs. And some of the reasons why I enjoy my job, some of the functions are similar to the public sector, some are similar to the private sector. I enjoy being on campus and being involved and engaged with students who, ha who are energetic and have new ideas. I enjoy the variety of work. It changes every year, the types of projects, the modes of transportation that we work with. I enjoy the flexibility that I have in my job, and it's particularly helpful uh, with my family. And I do enjoy the ability to influence what I'm working on. I can find something interesting and propose on it and try to, to do that work for that particular client. The main way to maximize the value you get from your education is to be deliberate. You should treat your education like a job, showing up on time, being prepared, turn off your electronic devices and take notes by hand, sit in the front of the class, paying attention, join clubs, organizations, and groups, develop relationships with your professors, which can help you later find a job or provide reference letters. You should think about immersing yourself in new experiences. I think some of the best ways to do that is to live on campus, to study abroad, strive to be a global citizen, develop public speaking skills, think about what transferable skills you have, assess those skills, and spend time building the skills that you want to. You should target ways to build your skills through new challenges and experiences. For example, if you have trouble with confrontation, try being a referee for intramural sports or a resident advisor. Be deliberate by studying like it's your job. Have a good group. Be deliberate about your schedule, your courses, when and how you study, and your group projects. You are the largest factor in how much value you will derive from your educational experiences, and this is truly about you. Nobody's going to force you to do things. Nobody's going to tell you it's time for class, wake you up on time. You're going to have to take that initiative. You should learn about the profession you want by taking opportunities to get involved, by being deliberate. You should think about getting an internship and finding a mentor, volunteer if necessary, and at a minimum through the internship process, you'll figure out what you don't like doing. Hopefully you find out what you do like doing, but if not, you'll at least know the things you don't like. You should think about and try to do everything to the best of your ability, even the boring stuff. Employers will give you better tasks when you show them that you're competent. You should think about making yourself useful, showing initiative. And I think it's very important and useful to talk to people in the profession, particularly at different people who are at different points in their career. So talk to recent graduates, talk to young professionals, talk to mid-level experts and long-term professionals who are close to retirement and see what they think about the industry, th see what they think about the changes that are coming in the industry and how you can be valuable and provide value to that company. You'll need to be deliberate in your actions and in your attitude. You should think about working to be useful and success will follow. It's common that the path toward success isn't really transparent. And there are a lot of qualities that are just as important as technical knowledge, being prepared, being on time, giving your best effort, having a positive attitude, being coachable, taking initiative and being curious. And again, all those things are just as important often as the technical knowledge that you have. Persistence and perseverance are important. You can learn anything, but you can't learn everything. 
And a lot of people will say, you know, make sure you have a, a you get a job doing what you love. But I'm not sure that's the best advice. The, the right job is the job that you love some or many days, can tolerate on most days, and still pays the bills. Almost nobody has a job that they love every single day. You will spend a lot of time with your coworkers, so make sure that the culture of the office is a good fit for you. And again, think about being deliberate in all the actions that you take and the attitude that you have at work. I also recommend thinking about what you want to accomplish. Don't just wander through life. Your time really is limited, but at this point, you probably have a lot of time left. So go do something. Think about and plan out your priorities and go do those. Again, when you're deliberate, you have a plan. When you have a plan, more often than not, you're going to fail forwards, not backwards. And as you can see from these pictures, I enjoy traveling. So that's where I put my focus and energy. I'm always looking forward to that next trip and figuring out how I can align work travel with some, some personal travel and go after projects that are going to take me different places. Uh, some of the things that I would change, kind of looking back where I am now, and I wish I was more deliberate um, as a student, I would certainly study abroad in college. I didn't study abroad as a student. Uh, now I do teach in our study abroad program, so I'm trying to, to gain some of that experience through, through that effort. Uh, I also wish I would have spent more time thinking about the ancillary skills that are supportive of a future career, such as business management, marketing, and programming. Uh, I would also encourage you to, to think about how you're going to leverage your past, your experience, your knowledge, your skills into an unknown future. And no one will have the same background and experiences that you have, so take advantage of those skills and knowledge that you do have. But overall, be deliberate, think about your priorities, and have a good plan.